Hello friend welcome to marine engineering hub today we are going to talk about water cool piston this is the part 2 of the piston cooling in part 1 i have spoken about the oil cool piston if you haven't watched the part 1 please go and watch as the this video will be correlated with the part 1 in today video i am going to talk about how the piston crown is constructed and how the change in construction of the piston crown came when we are shifting from lower load to higher load and after that i am going to talk about the water cooling of the piston crown so let's begin the video first let's see how what are the design difference okay so this is the design of the newer model of the engine and this is the design of the lower powered engine model means this is soldier R rd model and this is soldier rta model so as you can see when in earlier when the load was increasing at that time to compensate with the thermal stressing and as you know that during the combustion process a high load fall on the top part of the piston crown and because of certain power generation the crown also try to flex this like this and in this direction means hogging and sagging of the piston crown means piston try to flex to accommodate that and to withstand the high thermal stress generated make mainly a new design was made which was that the lower part of the piston crown which forward with mechanical with with ribs these are ribs like in our chest the ribs are there in same way these ribs are provided on the lower part of the crown so that to allow the crown to flex okay and the crown in the older engine was made up of cast steel okay and this is the piston skirt and uh, the piston skirt was used to be long because at that time uniform scavenging was not discovered or was not in the market and therefore the close cross scavenging or loop scavenging used to occur for that reason the piston skirt used to be long one okay and these are made of cast iron skirt okay and mainly five compression ring used to be made okay and as this is a telescopic pipe okay and this is a sealing ring for preventing the leakage of water okay so this is a construction of lower power engine now as the power of the engine increases so this mechanical ribs design fail because as it does not allow such means good amount of flexing and it doesn't able to cope up with the thermal stress and therefore a new design was made and the piston crown design was converted to this shape okay and after that to allow the oil to be carried or water to be carried closer to the piston crown for heat removal to combat with the thermal stressing problem this type of shape was made okay bore hole was made so that the water or oil can be made available closer to the inner surface of the piston crown okay so this was the design change which has been made because of the thermal stressing and to cope up with the high power generation and to cope up with the flexing okay now let's see how the water cooling was done basically through this telescopic pipe water used to come okay and it used to fill up this space this space and after during the combustion movement when the combustion power stroke take place at that time during the downward movement a sudden splashing occur on the top part of the piston crown which causes most of the heat removal and the oil flow back to the telescopic pipe so mainly the circulation of water depend upon the cocktail shaker effect so this is how 
the water cooling is taking place means when the uh, the water is filling up the space and during the downward movement the water is splashing on the lower part of the crown and is taking out the heat when the design was changed at that time the water was made available more closer to the piston crown and more easily and good amount of heat removal take place because of this modernized construction okay and another question which is asked that why the piston crown shape is like this the another reason for this is that to allow to make a good space for combustion to take place the piston crown is also made in this shape okay now one more thing i want to show you about the under piston scavenging that how the under piston scavenging take place it is mainly question asked so i am going to tell you in very brief way this is the exhaust port this is the suction port okay the exhaust is this is shown is the cross loop cross loop scavenging mainly the coming here and, and going out so the exhaust gas as is going is driving the turbocharger and from there the air which is sucked in from compressor is coming is passing through air cooler after it is cool it is coming and through this no entrant valve means the air is coming through cooler and then entering and then through the non junction valve no entrant valve is filling up this space this space okay now as the piston moves up this air enter in in the in this area okay and during the power stroke when it move down the whole thing get pressurized and as the piston move down the air which is trapped it gets pumped and get pressurized and that air is in push through this no entrant valve and enter this space where from here it can enter the scavenge port and can be utilized for the combustion process so the combustion process is utilized during a downward movement for pumping the air so that it can have a better swelling effect and it can have a better mixing when it is going through the entering in the entering the scavenge port so for that reason under piston scavenging was used which was discarded as the uniflow scavenging come into the market at that time this exhaust port was removed and for that reason the cross scavenging was removed and the skirt was made smaller so i hope you understand the what is water cooled piston how it works and why the what are the construction of the earlier engine and now please friend please do like and share my video i am making this video for knowledge purpose for sharing the knowledge and if you find utilizeful please subscribe please so that it can give me a motivation for making such video please share if you like it and image credit goes to myindigital.uk thank you friend